Mama's gonna go put some more gas in that pump, okay? You think you can let me come by? You think that's possible? Yes? Rita, what about you? You think that's possible? Hi, baby. Hi. How are you? I feel like they know. <laughs> yeah. I feel like y'all know what's about to go down, huh? You know something's weird today? Because it is. You've been eating a little protein, huh? Because you got a little sticky on your lips. Those dang flies are biting. I know. You got a little dust in your eyes baby I'm sorry I just scratched you so today is a day of very big storms coming in yes oh my sweet girl and Lester and I have been making preparations left and right you can hear the pond pump is still going we've been trying to lower that water as much as we can virtually around the clock like you have to refill that thing like every two hours with fuel. Um, oh, I know, sweetie. I'll spray you. But you can see that the pond level has dropped about, I'll say a foot. And we'll keep that going as long as it's safely able for us to get out there. We moved donkeys over to the right pasture the right side of the property not the correct one the right side uh, so over here we just have four horses and our pony ivy now this is how I think that they know so the girls are up here making sure there's no leftover food here like they're gonna eat everything that's left just in case just for when it rains they know it, it won't be any good then and Voodoo and Bucky's and Ivy are already putting themselves in stalls. They know. Uh, we started preparing for this. I mean, I don't feel like we have stopped preparing for this, but super got, got everything to where it is right now yesterday. Um, we fed animals early knowing that the storm is coming. And it's a very weird storm because it is coming from the north and the south at the same time and two systems will meet directly over top of us. There is cold air coming from the north. As I stand right out here right now, there is a breeze coming from the north. But if I go to that side of the building, I feel hot air coming from the south and it is a very strange place to be. So we have tornado warnings and watches and we have flash flood warnings and flood, actual flood warnings of river flood and of rain flood. We're trying to save our dam. We're trying to save our driveway. We're trying to keep animals safe. Uh, this washout right here is treacherous and any additional rain is gonna just take more of the land with it. We have massive repairs to do if we could ever get it to stop raining expensive repairs and laborious repairs. We're at a phase right now where the Plum Grove property is drying out and this is pretty scary to think about the what ifs because we're slated to get somewhere between five to 10 inches of rain with this. And the Plum Grove Morrow Hill is slated to get between five and seven and the river's already out of its banks. So it's um it's pretty alarming. These two being out in their stalls tells me we're not far away from it actually meeting here. And this girl right here is just trying to get a little love. She doesn't have the same intuition as everyone else does, but she's trying to understand why everybody feels a little bit weird. And I get that storms like I'm just gonna fill up and fuel up to handle my stress because it is stressful for them. Hang on. Don't you bite me. You be a good girl. You got an itchy Rita? I'll go get the fly spray. Okay. 
thing is, is when I go get the fly spray, that means that they, they don't want to hang out with me anymore at that point in time. Yeah, the flies are bad. My grandpa used to always say, when the flies are biting, it's going to rain. Or, when the cows are laying down. I imagine our cows are laying down at JL Ranch. Hi, baby. Yeah. She doesn't understand why everybody's acting so weird today. Why is that machine running nonstop? Why, why'd you take my donkey friend? Hey, we're not gonna bite. Why'd you take my donkey Dan friend away? I really like chasing him. Yeah. Let me get some fly spray. This is a really ugly area of the property because it's been so wet. When the horses come up here to eat or just to stand by the fence to greet us, it has turned into like a, a rough terrain. And there's no grass that's growing here. In fact, there's hardly any grass growing anywhere, which is so bizarre to us because we fertilized, it's rained, we replanted, but there's like nothing. Like it is nothing. Those are weeds and not grass. Hi, sweetie, I'm gonna spray you, okay? I know you hate it. That's a good girl. Come back here. You have stuff on your booty. Rita. She wants to go see if I put any food in there. Um, the whole side of this pasture is like no grass, which is so weird because the rye grass grew so well. I guess the same thing that's happened to my garden has happened out here, that all of the nutrients must have just washed out with the dirt. And whatever held on is what had the best roots. Hi, sweetie. Can mama spray you, please? I know you hate it. She hates it so much. No? Okay. I'll have to get a rope and do that then. Yes, I know. I know. Oh, Rita came back. Rita doesn't mind as much as she thinks she does. Okay, that's good. We got Rita good. That's going to help you so much. I didn't get her ankles very well, but I did get her belly where there's tons of flies. Here. Can I do this? Oh, come back. It wasn't very well executed there, but it's a little bit better than it was. Yeah. So I'm nervous for today, and I'm sort of doing that weird pacing thing, and like the anticipation is pretty rough, and I know that they feel it too, so I'm trying really hard to like not let them feel it and to. try really hard to make it a normal day but um they know they know me better than anybody hi sweetie and she knows something weird is going down doesn't understand why three of her friends are already installed. She's like, it's not storming, it's not raining. Like, that's weird that they would go in there in the afternoon. Now, Voodoo will go in most of the time around one o'clock-ish, I would say, is his time to go in, and he'll stay in until it's just about time to eat. And that is beautiful because he's getting out of the sun, and I think it's helping a ton. And he's doing it on his own, and he, he's very comfortable with that. But for Ivy and Bucky's to go in and to put themselves in stalls. They're not standing out in the middle. They put themselves in stalls. Now, Bucky's isn't in his stall, but that's okay. Um, that wind's picking up again. I just know that things are ahead, and they know that things are ahead. They're expecting 70 mile per hour wind gust. And that large amount of rain will certainly take its toll. I'm glad that our horses know to go to that barn now. That, that's a big win because in the very beginning, if you remember, Storm, Storm would stand outside of that Dixieland loafing shed. But now they all know to go in that barn. They have a comfortable spot. You want me to spray you now? There we go. Oh, that's a good girl, Rita. That's a good girl. That was better. Uh, 
So it's helpful that they'll go in and that's, they feel safe. There's lights out there now. I have their waters full. I have a, a bale of hay brought into the feed room out there, but they can't get to it right now. So if I need to go out in the middle of the night to try to soothe them or whatnot, I feed out there during those big storms that last a long time to sort of relieve their stress too. So it's not like they're out there just like jonesing to, to leave. They'll eat and that calms them down. That believe it or not, that settles their tummies. It's just hay. It's not, it's not grain. The hay helps absorb the acid in their stomachs. They're ruminant animal, ruminant, ru Never mind. Uh, the help of, absorbs the hay in their stomachs. Uh, the, oh my gosh. The hay absorbs the acid in their stomachs and keeps them from getting upset tummies. Stress can cause big things in these big gentle giants. Yes, my love, my love, my love, my love. Notice how gray her face is. You can still see her little playboy bunny, but man, she has changed since she got here. I love you, sweet girl. One of these days we're gonna measure her again because she's grown significantly since she's arrived. She's gonna be a tall girl. Oh, hi, beautiful. <laughs> You need some loving too. You've got a sticky face. You're just like a kid who just got done eating. And you did. You just went to the protein lick. I could smell it on you. <laughs> I smell it, baby. I smell it. Oh my goodness. She needs scratches. So many scratches. Rita, let me spray her with fly spray. You don't want to let me? Are you sure? You sure you don't want to let me? It would help you so much. Yeah. See, you wouldn't have to deal with all that mess. Please. Oh, I love her. I love them all. And the last thing that I want to see is them stress about this. Because <laughs> sadly, it feels like our new routine, doesn't it? I know. We're going to be okay. Could you be the most beautiful girl in the world? <laughs> Rita, don't you eat that lock. <laughs> I love you so much. All right. Mama's gonna go put some more gas in that pump, okay? You think you can let me come by? You think that's possible? Yes? Rita, what about you? You think that's possible? Mm, no. <laughs> All right. I love you, ladies.